Hey, what's up, you bunch of chads? Today, I am going to make a video about the traders because uh, after this wipe, traders are going to be more important than they have ever been. Um, and I hear many people in the comment section uh, say stuff like, oh, I don't really level the traders or don't focus on it that much. And this video is just going to tell you why you should focus on that kind of stuff, especially with this wipe. Um, so let's just get right into it. So the way it used to work is that every item that was in the game was available on the flea market. Um, meaning if you got an item anyway, so either from a raid or from traders, you could just sell it on the flea market. But the way it's going to be after the wipe is that only the items that are actually found in raid are going to be able to be sold on the flea market. That in turn means that all the items that people buy from any of the traders they will not be able to sell on the flea market. So all we used to do if we didn't have the traders ourselves was buy all the attachments we could from the flea market. But now that people can't say, for example, oh, let's go to Scare um, and buy whatever, this Bastion dust cover, people would actually buy this for 6k from here and then they'd put it up for like 9k on the flea market to make a profit like that. That's not going to happen anymore. And so that means there is going to be way less attachments available on the flea market in general. Um, they will be more expensive because that's how capitalism works, I guess. The only way you can really counteract this is to level the traders yourself. And if you're new, it might seem a little bit weird how that works, right? So since I have all my traders maxed, I'm going to jump to another account so I can show you guys what I mean exactly. So here we are on the alt account. And what I can show you now is let's say you want to level up Skier. So here you have your current attitude. And then the next loyalty level, um, these are the requirements to unlock um, the next level of the trader. Now every level of trader, and Prepper is a very easy example, they sell... A certain amount of items certain attachments certain ammo types and whatever so here you have all your standard really bad weapons or at least very low tier weapons they go to level two you can see that there's like proper ak's for sale even a vss and then at level three there's even more like the as valve for a trade and rpk for a trade svd really good weapons here so when you look at the traders, let's say you've had a fantastic raid and you have a couple of pieces, a couple of items um, right here, which you want to sell. There's a very specific order to which traders give the most money for the for which items. So therapist always gives gives giveth. <laughs> she always giveth the most money for any item she'd buy. So if you go, for example, let's say we buy this. Um, this IFAC, she will buy for 11k. Um, there isn't a trader in the world, even if they buy it, which I, well, Jaeger does. He gives 8k. So does Prepor. Peacekeeper doesn't buy it. The rest doesn't buy it. Offense gives like four. Yeah. So therapist always gives the most money. So you always want to start selling your items to therapist. Then you want to sell to Skier. And then you want to sell to Mechanic. That's if you want to make the most rubles, and that's an important thing to know. Let's say you want to level Skier, and you're like, oh, I, I don't have enough stuff or whatever to sell to him or buy from him for 1.6 million. One of the things you can actually do is just go to Ragman and buy, for example, three of these helmets. This will give you 53k spent with Ragman. And if you then go to Skier, you can actually sell them to him again for 33 34 so you've only spent 19k to increase your standing with these guys respectively 34k for skier and then 54k for ragman so if you want to rush a level on the trader um this is the way to do it you could also go to skier and buy for example a bunch of these akms and then sell them to prep or, or mechanic or peacekeeper whatever i'm pretty sure you can sell these akms to peacekeeper too yeah, there you go. And then you level up Peacekeeper. See? So this would be one I'd actually have to push on this account because we've only spent one and a half thousand instead of 13,000. Now, one more important thing about the traders is that for some quests, you need a certain loyalty level. 
Um, I don't know if I can actually show this, but... No, I don't think I'm at the point where I actually have a quest that says... Well, here you can see level 35. So if we go by just your regular level of your character, these quests give loads of experience, right? So that's one of the one of the reasons you want to level up your traders as well, because for some tasks you need a trader at a certain level, and then when you get through that, you can continue doing some other tasks and you can continue gaining XP that way. And all in all, it's just a very, very smart way to go about things because i i've been having people ask me okay what are you going to focus on eddie when the wipe hits and the honest answer is i am literally just going to buckle down do my tasks and level my traders because when i get to a point at like prep or level three where i could just buy an svds go into factory and start shooting people with the svds you just buy one of those and then you attach one of these sites the Cobra EKP, EKP8, and I'm pretty sure at level 3, you can also buy the 7N1. There you go. You're already owning. And that's the same goes for Ragman. As soon as you get Ragman to level 2, which is very easy to do, you can buy, for example, this 6B3TM armored rig, which will in turn give you a very cheap option, 47k for a level 4 body armor and rig. Like, what's there not to love? Instead of running around with this disgusting piece of armor, you know? So that's what I'm going to focus on. Hopefully this video um, was sort of helpful. There were quite a few little tips for you guys. If you have any more questions about the traders or um, anything in particular about the wipe, let me know in the comment section down below. These um, next couple of weeks until the wipe, we're going to focus on at least trying to help you guys understand as much as possible about the game, about the traders, about the tasks. I've also been thinking about making a series where I go through each task um, and show you the strategy I would use to do that quest. Because I've seen the videos when I first started about uh, how to complete the bronze pocket watch quest. And it's just like a guy showing on the map where it is. And then he says, oh, open this door with this key. And there you have it. Um, they don't really talk about strategy. And I think that's um, something that would add to the uh, community of Tarkov. So if, if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to thank you guys as well. Um, when this video goes up, we're probably past 950 subscribers already. Um, keep in mind, the goal for this year was 1,000, and uh, that's going to happen within one or two weeks. So I feel blessed, I guess. I feel really... Um, what's the word? I don't even have a word for it. So thank you, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Eddie... Out.